Hello friends, in this video I brought to you a very interesting case study of one of the fastest growing listed startup companies of India, India Mart. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe right now and join my telegram channel because there we are discussing a lot of uh, interesting things about views of the market and stock specific things also. My name is Varun Agarwal and let's get started. So why I have chosen India Mart for this analysis because in my YouTube community I am putting a poll and you people are choosing the stock on which the video has to be created and recently in the recent poll about 43% of the people have chosen India Mart that is why we are creating the video on India Mart. So India Mart is a B2B marketplace business to business marketplace. So here buyers and sellers are both either manufacturers or suppliers suppose you are doing some business and you want your raw materials or you want you, you are a trader you want some product to be purchased so you will go on India Mart search for a supplier or a manufacturer buy those products and sell to the end customers so here the uh, deal happens between two businesses and not an individual customer it is kind of a wholesale marketplace so it was founded in 1999 and it came, brought an IPO in 2019 it is a market leader in B2B classifieds online segment in India. It has about 60% market share. 107 million plus buyers are registered on India Mart and 6.1 million plus sellers are registered. There are more than 68 million products displayed on India Mart. And what is the benefit to the buyers? Sitting at home, sitting in office, just go online and find any product and any supplier in India who are digitally active for the sellers they get more and more leads more and more customers and their business goes on expanding so mr dinesh chandra agrawal is the managing director of india mart he has a lot of corporate experience is a science student and he has worked with companies like hp hcl and he has invested in lot of startups and he has also implemented lot of revolutionary startup ideas so what is the business model of India Mart? We'll discuss in detail right now. Earlier, when you want to buy something, you you were uh, you you were supposed to go in a offline market, a wholesale market, a crowded marketplace like you see on the screen. There you would find suppliers, wholesalers, and even the different products. From there, you have to pick and bring it to your business and start selling the same thing they have brought online in a very organized way you can find machinery suppliers you can find product suppliers you can find product manufacturers you can find everything under the sun on india mart you can buy from there and you can start your own business or if you are doing sub business you can buy from there and further get better prices for the existing products which you are buying the same offline market they have put it online on a platform very organized platform so it is india's largest b2b marketplace it is the large it india is a large and addressable growing market as you all know this is a two-way discovery marketplace that means a buyer can discover a seller and the seller can also discover buyers because buyers put their requirements on india mart it is a well diversified marketplace because it covers almost all the products and services in India it is behavioral driven suppose a buyer comes and puts puts a request on India Mart it will its algorithm will match the best sellers and suggest those sellers to the buyer it has a strong network and it has a subscription based revenue model that means on a monthly basis it charges the sellers to uh, list a premium listing so it, most of the cases it gets the money in advance so it's a very cash rich company so what are the benefits the, do the buyers get they get access to diverse set of products and suppliers they get access to different prices they can discover the prices easily they will get access to detailed uh, description about all the products which they want to buy and they also have introduced now recently the payment options so that the buyer's safety is ensured what benefits do the suppliers get? They get access to the buyer's RFQ. RFQ is request for quotation. So buyers, different buyers product uh, put different requests for uh, quotations on India Mart. So suppliers get ready-made requests. They can choose which request is relevant to them, reply to that buyer and take forward the deal. 
So they get a website when they join India Mart. They get cloud telephony. In this, whenever some, some buyer is trying to contact a supplier, the buyer can either send a message or they can even call. So the moment they call, the supplier phones uh, start ringing. And this technology they have introduced that multiple phones can be connected. So the supplier, there is a team of five people in the marketing. All the five people's phones will be connected. And all the five phones will ring at a time and whoever can pick up the call first can pick up the call. So like that kind of technologies they have in cloud telephony. And CRM tools is customer relationship management. There are different tools which the seller can use to manage the leads and customers which they get through India Mart. So how the RFQ works, the buyer goes online, the buyer sends a request to buy a particular product mentions the quantity, expected price and other product specifications. What does the India Mart algorithm do? The algorithm matches the relevant seller based on the product, based on the pricing, based on the location of the buyer and it gives a list to the buyer and it also gives a buyer an option to click and send request to multiple sellers. What the sellers do? They will see the buyer's request, they will read them. If they are relevant to them, they are selling the same product which the buyer is requesting. They will either reply the buyer or they will contact the buyer through the telephone number mentioned there. Then finally both of them speak and the deals happen. That is how the system works on India Mart. And all this is driven by a lot of technology algorithms in the background based on the product, based on the location, based on the price, based on the quantity, several other factors the algorithm matches the buyers and sellers requirements. There's a huge network as we have discussed there are more than 1 lakh categories and 68 million products listed there are 55 percent repeat buyers which is a very good success rate 100 percent organic traffic most of the websites spend a lot in marketing but india mart has done such a good seo that you go on google right now and type suppliers search, try searching suppliers of any product which you want 99 percent of the cases you will get India Mart on the first page. So that is the kind of uh, uh, search engine optimization they have done and that is the kind of traffic they are getting since many years. So they always rank on the top. So their marketing cost is very minimal and they get maximum organic traffic. So there are more than more than 36 percent of the suppliers themselves are buyers because the supplier also requires some product or the other. So he finds it easy to find suppliers for himself on India Mart itself. So nationwide if you see there are more than 84 branches and more than 3690 employees working as a team for the success of this company. The traffic as we discussed is 100 percent organic and on Play Store the uh, app rating is 4.7 which is uh, which shows that they have a very good technology and 82% of the traffic is from mobile. So as we discussed it's a subscription based model monthly and yearly you get discounts if you pay a yearly subscription on monthly basis if you pay they charge a little more. Top 10% of the customers who use the premium and top few plans contribute for 43% of the revenue and the remaining is distributed under different types of subscription plans which they offer to their customers. So this is the business model in detail of India Mart and now understand the market in the industry as you know the e-commerce industry is still booming in India and it has a lot of journey to further travel. Online B2B commerce is also picking up because suppliers are interested in coming online, suppliers are interested in finding more manufacturers online and retailers are also trying to find wholesalers online. Offline sellers are listing their uh, products online and they are getting more of offline customers through the digital marketing and there is a lot of scope in the B2B commerce expanding internationally also like Alibaba from China is expanding across the globe. It may happen that India Mart also goes global and st steadily expands globally and becomes a, the next Alibaba of India. There is a lesser impact on this kind of businesses due to the COVID uh, lockdown because these are more of online businesses. So it is more safer to invest in such companies. Who are the competitors of India Mart? There are few websites like Exporters India, Trade India. These are the main competitors. but there is a lot of gap in the size of the market share between India Mart and then the other competitors. Just I have mentioned although it is a B2C 
business right now but they are coming up with a b2b website so i am considering that also as a competitor of india mart now how is india mart better what is the competitive edge which india mart has when compared to its other competitors the traffic is 100% organic and there are 55% people who are coming back to the website after their first purchase 36% of the suppliers are buyers so their brand and their network strength is very good the catalog is very in very much detail and there are millions of products listed which is a big asset to india mart so they have already established presence in such a big and fragmented indian market that is again an advantage and their technology which they have developed over a period of time with so much uh, options and uh, so many uh, algorithmic matchmaking processes the crm uh, tool which they have all these technology is also a competitive edge for any newcomer to come into the market and compete with india mart in its segment what are the growth prospects how can this company grow in the near future the internet adoption is accelerating that is why the business of india mart is bound to grow the company has opened uh, the people are open now to buying products online and also in finalizing deals over the call itself and make in india the moment which has began has going to give this company a great push because more and more suppliers come will come online more and more manufacturers will come online and this company will get benefited a lot this company is a very cash rich company so the working capital requirements are very less it has a very strong balance sheet and the diversification across different products is one way of expansion adding more sellers is one way of expansion uh, expanding to more geographies is another way of expansion which can happen in this company in the near future and the brand awareness is tremendously growing and everybody in the market is coming to know about india mart now if you see the few milestones in 2009 they introduced the option of rfq in 2010 they introduced cloud telephony 2013 they introduced price discovery 15 they introduced behavioral matchmaking as we have discussed 2017 they have introduced a payment protection platform when someone comes online and he wants to buy online if the seller is from a different city or state the buyer becomes a little scared so the india mart gives an option for uh, the buyer to pay into an escrow account and after the goods are received the payment is released so that kind of facility and protection is given by india mart in 2018 they also introduced a customer relationship management tool so they have continuously improving their technology what are the risks which this company may face the risks are very minimal there could be competition from international players coming to india and there could be a competition from the existing players if they get a huge investment and they scale up their business government policies and economic conditions may affect any company as it may affect india mart the continuous innovation is a requirement because it is in the internet and technology space the moment they stop innovating the business will start declining now coming to the financial figures in the recent quarter q1 fy21 the total income of the company rose to 187 crores which is 16% increase year on year in spite of the lockdown revenue from operations rose 4% to 153 crores ebitda to 73 crores which increased almost double when compared to the earlier year and ebitda margin is 48% then the cash generated from operating activities increased to 3 crores almost double when compared to the earlier year and the net profit rose 129% to 74 crores so these are the numbers the company has given in q1 in spite of the lockdown so that shows that the company's performance is very strong now let us see some trends in the last few years the supplier store fronts the number of suppliers registered on in india mart is growing at a cagr of 27% over the last few years the subscription premiums which the suppliers pay the the paying subscription suppliers come compared to the free sub, free subscriptions and paid subscription there are two subscriptions people shifting to the paying subscriptions are increasing and growing at a cagr of 19% in the last 5 years the live product listings the number of listings have grown 28% in the last 5 years the annualized revenue per subscriber is increasing at 6% cagr the number of registered buyers are increasing 39% at a cagr the traffic is increasing at 30% cagr the business inquiries delivered are increasing at 42% cagr 
total sales and representatives the team is growing at every year average of about 11% the revenue from operations is growing at 27% cagr the collections from customers on a standalone basis is growing at a cagr of 24% the ebita is growing earlier it was in losses in the last 3 years it has grown tremendously and right now the ebita margin is about 28% and the profit after tax margin is continuously growing and right now it is at 21% so the cash and investments the cash uh, balances and the investments have are growing at a cagr of 57% so that shows that this company has a lot of savings and cash the cash generated from operations is growing almost at a cagr of 104% which is doubling and the company has a few subsidiaries and few other products which are not very big right now but let us discuss them this is a product called pay with india mart pay with india mart private limited which we have discussed earlier it is used for buyers and sellers to pay through the platform then there is a product called 10 times which is a event management uh, event discovery platform this is a company called tolexo online private limited they have a product called pura so that is for customer management there is another product which they have called bsom which has a subsidiary their subsidiary mobisai technologies private limited this is also for order management and customer management there is another uh, mobile based accounting platform which they have simply vyapar apps private limited and th those are the platforms now coming to the shareholding pattern 52% is still held by the promoters group which is quite decent 28% is invested by the foreign institutional and portfolio investors so this shows that lot of foreign investors have confidence in this company 16% is with the retail people and 4% with the mutual funds on a year over year basis fy20 revenues were 639 crores which is up 17% when compared to the earlier year profits were 149 crores and the profits are 7.5 times increase when compared to the earlier year earning per share is up 6 times and sales growth in the last 3 years is an average of about 25% promoter shareholding is about 52% and nothing is pledged remuneration to directors is about 7 crores which is pretty decent equity is consistent except the ipo in 2019 the reserves are growing the company is a completely debt free company cash flow from operating activity is about 260 crores and cash flow from investing is a 230 crore 230 crore so it is a uh, free it having positive free cash flows and majority of the investing activities are into savings they have declared an interim dividend of about 10 rupees which is 100% of the face value dividend yield is 0.35% because they are investing more in the growth profit uh, before depreciation interest and tax margin is about 38.66% and net profit margin is 23.44% return on equity is 53.26% and roc is 34.88% so the returns are very strong the auditors of this company are bsr and uh, company llp which is kpmg which is one of the big four companies with big four firms which gives us a lot of comfort now coming to the valuations part the last traded price is 2828 it has recently hit its 52 week high and 52 week high low is 1100 to 2870 the last one year it has almost doubled to 130 giving 130% returns market cap is 8000 crores pe is 43 industry pe is 51 the earning per share is rupees 65 which is increased a lot after the q1 result the price book value value is 29.83 which is very expensive as per the benjamin grams formula if we consider a good uh, growth rate the intrinsic value comes to about 2000 2200 so the valuations as of now are slightly expensive in fact they are quite expensive but since it is a very fast growing company and it has a very strong hold in the segment it in which it operates these valuations are going to become relevant uh, they are going to become reasonable in the near future now let us see the chart it has a very Uh, decent chart in a growing trend pre covid it was trading around 2500 levels in the march it took a dip to 1744 and after that it took support at around 2100 odd levels recently it 
suddenly had a big rally and hit at all time high of 2870 and i feel at the current levels itself it will start facing some resistance and it will fall back to about 10 to 15% from here so around uh, 2500 odd if it levels it falls back to i feel that would be the right time to start entering into the stock in a staggered manner what is the covid impact on this the buyer traffic is almost back to normal the monthly collections from customers are almost two third as per the pre covid levels customer mortality is only 10% so most of the company customers continue to stay with them expenses are 15% savings they have saving 15% expenses or pre lockdown and there are no employee layoffs so they are confident in their business they are not taking out any employees so what are the recent news and developments management says that the traffic is growing tremendously after the lockdown and the demand in certain categories are very high and the margins also will remain good in future because they are trying to control their costs in the same way as they have controlled before so this is all about india mart i hope you like the video and uh, all the indicators whatever you require to take a decision for to invest in the stock i have tried to share with you to summarize this is a market leader in its segment of b2b classifieds it's a futuristic business and internet based technology business so it's a good sector to invest in it has shown consistent tremendous growth the management is good technology is uh, quite strong in this company there are no debts the margins are very robust and it has given good returns in the last one one and a half year the business model is a cash rich business model and the sector will experience good tailwinds in the coming future the valuations are expensive so you have to be uh, entering in the stock at the right levels so thank you for watching this video i hope you like it subscribe to my channel and join my telegram channel do leave the comments if you want me to create more videos on your favorite companies i'll create a poll and you can choose the best stock for which we can create the videos thanks for watching and have a great day